because I asked you to leave me out of this, man. I don't want to do this tape like this. I really won't even want the tape. You know what I'm saying? I really want to keep it for work, man. Leave it. Why is you involved? If you don't, if Tarsa don't never say nothing, none of this never come out. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Have you seen Charleston White since this incident? No. Hadn't seen him no more. Just see him online. Just Antics. online. And how people, you know, like like when you, because you was frustrated that day when you made that speech. Like, right. you were just saying, enough is enough. I'm going to go and let you know, enough, man, man. I'm not playing no more with that. Because I asked you to leave me out of this, man. I don't want to do this tape like this. I really won't even want the tape. You know what I'm saying? I really want to keep it for work, man. Leave it. Why is you involved? If you don't, if Charleston don't never say nothing, none of this never come out. Charleston went right to the thing, right? Charleston the one called the laws. Charleston instigated the laws on this case. The laws called me. The laws called Kevin Spencer. The laws came up to my shop. Twisted Black told me something about this when he was on the show that because he came and did an interview and I was like, man, I heard he, that it was a scuff at a barbershop and he just gave me a little bit of insight on it. But that that last that Twisted Black album was cold. I, it was one, it was a few songs on that way. It was some cold. Did you listen to the whole? Yeah, old my album? favorite song is uh, "Saying Too Much." Saying too much. That's it. That's, That's my mine favorite too. song, man. That's Saying too, too much. Yeah, he was on it on that thing. Yeah, he was man. on it. Like like the Fort Worth area. I want to ask you a little bit, but I'm gonna get off Charleston for a second. Um, pause. But the Fort Worth seen since Twisted Black came back as far as the music, man. How you feeling for that? How you feeling about how he's looking since he came home as far as on the music scene? Man, I'm so glad he came home. I've been, they've been talking about he coming home for the last ever. forever. Before I went to jail, after I come to jail, actually me and Twi I was in Big Spring and Twisted Black was in the next little county, I think, when he got caught. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere up that road in mm -hmm. West Texas. So we kind of got locked up the same, maybe the same day, wow. I believe. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't, you know what I'm saying? But that was always one of my favorite rappers because he always kept it funky town, even though he's from Detroit, but he funky kept town. Kept it real funky town. Yeah, he kept it real funky town. Man, man my favorite one was that I'm a fool with it, man. Uh, 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 and uh, Hustler, uh, them two right I'm there. I'm a fool, yeah. I play that all the time when I'm doing my heart because I'm a fool with it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and it was some, you know, you heard things like, um, I think when he, when he first came home, I think that's when he Kevin and him shook hands or hugged. It was some stuff said by Charleston White on on that as well. Cause me and Twisted was talking about it on here, and it's like the other day he was in back of a, a, a ambulance or something. Yeah. And he he talked about somebody said something to you, and when he said something, he uh, hugged you or something. Uh, mm -hmm. When you when you came home, and he got pistol whipped. Wow. I'm just telling you what what he what he tried to equate to uh, this situation too but the thing I look at is the internet yeah I don't trust right. nothing on the internet yeah. not even so even even uh, so far as don't trust him because he ain't get pistol whooped definitely oh. just got whooped <laughs> right. well I don't know church young man yeah. <laughs> bro anybody know if you get pistol whooped you're gonna have a scar any type of metal hit your face you're gonna have a little scar scratch or something you ain't have no scratch Throw my hands you gotta put on I think and, and I'm gonna be honest with you I believe he's uh, you know he's real crafty um, and when it comes down to it it, what we're words. doing right now is exactly what he would like, what he want, mm -hmm. because because this is the game that we're in. Game, yeah. Um, and and like I said, man, he figured it out when it come down to getting that attention. To be honest I with swear you, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, if I wake up, hey, and cut my throat. Hey, in that area, in that arena, he he did it, and he's doing it. So hey. yeah. But yeah. one thing I want to say to you is like, why well, maybe just ask you like like how do you keep your composure? When 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 you being trolled, being trolled, do you know the terminology? Because yeah, you've been yeah, gone. I'm yeah, I'm hip now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's light work. Um, I be lying and trying to put on if I say you know things that people say don't bother you sometimes, especially when when it's the, your loved ones. You know that can bother you, but I got a lot to lose. I've yeah, been, and I've been through a lot. See, I, I just did 17 years and two months in prison for really doing stuff, you know what I mean? Or whether I did it or not, I, I took the lick. <clears throat> so um, I hear a lot of people say they're gangsters and they street niggas and all of this, but we don't let, we don't trade soldiers for suckers, man. You know what I mean? So I'm not gonna trade my life or my freedom for this sucker, you know what I mean? Cause he wanna talk in the TV. 
Now, when it, when you get too close to the fire, you know, those lines in a connect. Then he get his ass whooped in barbershops and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make sure that I don't do that. Mm-hmm. I don't want to get nowhere close to the street stuff and and all of that. So I just play my position. If he don't, you know, he don't swerve in my lane. We straight. You know, um, people, you know, twisted that got and asked a lot of stuff about Charleston because it was a lot of this and there's a lot of talk going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, like man, will it ever be? You know, it ain't it ain't on violence ain't gonna never stop, bro. But Will it ever slow down? Will it ever, you know, will the city ever come together? Man, to me, I see it been together since probably about 98, 2001. You know, it's, it was a mix of like me, Jimmy Daniels, TK, Rooster, Doc. All of us went to Tech and went to different schools. So, I, so you can go to Trumbull Tech from anywhere. So you got a lot of Crips. Eastwood and Stop Six were the only bloods. Ain't too many bloods from Stop Six. Gonna, they gonna go to Dunbar. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I just want, I wanted to go to Tech to play basketball to be away from everybody else. But game banging started. Game banging started. I hear, like I said, when you hear about game banging over there, y'all, man, y'all done had a lot, man. You had the gay crip thing going and then they, he de The what? It was a gay crip over there. Oh. And then you had, uh, uh, but then he, I think he said he wasn't with it no more or something after they, I think he went up to no jump and they say he denounced the cripping. But then there also, you got OG Percy over there. You got all kind of people over in Fort Worth, man. You got, you got, uh, man, it's, it's just a lot, a litany of people. You got half pint films over there. You got, man, you got, it's a bunch of, a lot of talent, man. A lot of talent, man. Go yeah, you're about to come home. Do you think that going to change the scene? Man, oh, yeah, it, coming it, it, home. It, it, that's my boy. I, I like. I really don't know him too much person, but he be in my neighborhood a yeah. lot. So I see him going and coming, man. But it depends on the attitude that he bring home because he, he, a, he a good leader to be a young dude. But he got to have the right people behind him like to don't let him get too far off track. Yeah. Like, just like Honeycomb Brazy come home. He ain't have the right people behind him. He gone back, You know now. what I'm saying? His people just let him crash out. Came you know what I'm and went. Yeah, you don't you don't do that. Your 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 homeboys can't come home and just let you crash out like they let them come home on a he come home on a mission to cause destruction. Yeah. You know? But but look at you. You said that when you came home, you went right back to selling dope. That was when I mean, you I didn't I didn't get my I mean my grandparents or whatever happened to my grandparents, all that that kind of turmoil don't set in on you. Yeah, you talking about they got yeah. they passed away. I know, I'm you know, got you, killed. You, yeah, you don't they don't they don't set on you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.